this. I can't talk about this because I won't have time for that. I'm not even going to go into that. I'm going to do this. Howdy, folks. This is Manic Mark, real fake outsider artist, come to you from the bunker system located underneath the art villa found somewhere in the jungle of the Midwest. Happy holidays, everyone. That's right. It's getting closer and closer to Christmas, and I know we're all very excited to to find out what we're going to have in our stockings this Christmas. We stick our hand in to see if the finger's bitten off. That's right. Be careful about that. And um, today is the second day in a row of Play With Your Organ Day. That's right. It's day two of Play With Your Organ. And if you watch day one, you all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not talking about what you think I'm talking about, you bad boys and girls out there. Be naughty or be nice, and sometimes being naughty and being nice, it's basically the same thing. Okay, today, wacky LP cover, here you go. Nowhere on the LP do I have any idea why this LP is named Gene Dad. You notice it's autographed? Well, private pressing, one off from ES Records in North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. I mentioned yesterday what was I found interesting in these two LPs and some of the other uh, organ LPs is that, you know, the people that play the organ, you know, are subjected to, you know, kind of being made fun of. It's a mild form of ridicule, like, oh, you know, it's just the organ. It's not very exciting, and the liner notes reflect that, kind of like they apologize for playing the organ in very subtle ways. Well, this guy doesn't really apologize. He's just sort of like, it's the organ! I play the organ! That's right. And I'll read the liner notes because they're wonderful. Um, and, well, why don't we do that right now? So, first of all, it... There's an interesting dynamic going on, and I don't really know how to get into it. Father-son dynamic going on here. And that is, this, the son is subjugated. It's, he, Ed has, has, I think Ed is an overbearing father, and he's, they're both super nerds. <laughs> but Ed is the dominant nerd, and he subjugated his son to a secondary role. For instance, on the cover, it's Ed Schofield, and then in really tiny, small type, Tim Scully drums. But what's curious is that these photographs were taken separately, cut out, you know, pasted in here, is that his son is, like, somewhat larger. The perspective's not right. So his son feels like, like, it's like monster son, you know, like he should be playing basketball instead of playing, you know, back up to his his a domineering father, okay? Uh, so that's what's going on here. And there is organ music and there is organ music in capital letters. Organ music. Because there's this really bad organ music and then there's my organ music. And he thinks, he so hopes that you think his organ, organ music is not. But he's kind of being forceful. It's kind of dominant about it, you know? This is a collection of fam familiar popular tunes played, played by Ed Schofield. The name's capitalized. Like, ev everybody should know who this guy is. <laughs> hey, I'm Ed. You know me. Uh, in a toe-tapping, quote-unquote, toe-tapping style that is enjoyed by many listeners. Um, I think he's just trying to, like, draw you in somehow. You know when people say a lot of people like whatever you're doing? That's not necessarily true. They just say that to draw you in. Okay. Ed's son, Tim provides the rhythm on drums, cymbals, tom-tom, etc., comma, and Ed, comma, with the melody ever-present, plays the, capital letters, organ music on a Wurlitzer spinet organ model 4037, dash, dash, period, dash, dash, no external speakers or tone cabinets added. So you know he's a geek, right? <laughs> Why on all these organ LPs? I guess it's because it's basically the only instrument, you know. And whoever's playing it has to point out. There's like, you know, all these organ people get together, and it's like a giant club. 
And they just say, well, my organ's better than yours. Look at it. Look how big my organ is compared to your organ. It's, it's probably horrible when these guys get together for a convention, the, the backs, you know, stabbing and gossiping and, and want upsmanship. <laughs> the model, well, first of all, it's interesting because he's, he's like, I just play a stripped down organ with no frills. I'm a no frills kind of guy. And that's another like, sort of like a dominant, like one upsmanship thing there. And then he goes and says, the model 4037 does have a built-in Orbit 3 synth synthesizer on a third keyboard. Well, I realized when this LP was made, um, that was probably a cool thing, right? But first he says, there's no frills. And then he says, oh, but yeah, maybe there is this one frill. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, now, he's not done with this yet. The instrument is a two-channel true stereo organ, and in capital letters, once again, Mr. S, which I assume means Mr. Schofield, occasionally referred to as, in capital letters, the Wizard of the Wolitzer, <laughs> has performed on the organ and on the piano in most of the 50 states. I don't know if that includes Alaska or Hawaii. Ed is a native of Columbus, Ohio. Why do they always have to point out where they were born? I, 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 don't, I don't get that. Uh, he owned and operated and entertained in a Charles City, Iowa supper club for a period of years, one year of which he was the president of the Chamber of Commerce. Tim and Dad started making music together, beautiful music. When Tim was in junior high school, you're not going to play football, you can't go to the movies, you're staying home and you're going to practice, Tim. Ed started pursuing a professional music career when he was in high school and has never stopped that pursuit. Well, obviously, and then in capital letters, once again, Ed, Dad, Mr. S, Wizard of the Wurlitzer, or whatever you may wish to call him. <laughs> Don't open the door like that. Uh, now resides in Nashville, North Carolina, of course, where the LP was made. Compared to yesterday's LP, I, I like this one much better because the the music on it is it, it's well it's got the it's got Tim in the background which kind of adds like even more of a lounge feel to it. Um, but I've been playing one song. The song I'm going to play if there's time because I've just gone on and on again as usual um, is from side two. We've only just begun the second track and it's just a spacey fun piece of lounge music and I just enjoy it. God, there's no time. The painting, my god, I gotta stick the painting in here. The painting is Bitchin' Badass Ed. And Bitchin' Badass Ed says, Look at me, you pussy. I can carry an entire model of 4037 on my back. He's yelling at his son. You've gotta practice, you've gotta step it up, bring your A game. And it's just the domineering father thing. And, and Ed, uh, Tim is just, Tim just says, Screw you, dad. He's very depressed. He can't wait to get out of the house. Um, if Ed will unlock the door and got him locked in the basement with this little snare drum. And they, they, they with a 60 watt light bulb, enough light so that he can practice 18 hours a day. And he could never carry an organ on his back or like this because he's a real scrawny, geeky kind of guy, right? So this is just a symbolic, overbearing, dominant father image right here. Bitch and badass Ed entitled Bitchin' Badass Ed or Bitchin' Badass Wizard of the Wurlitzer. Hit it.
Thank you.